guys, it's Curly Demira. I am just coming to you with a quick product review. This product review is sponsored by NaturallyCurly.com. Um, yeah, so they sent me these two products. Uh, the first product that I tried was the... Now, I've heard two different ways of saying it. So, I'm going to say it the way that I assume that is pronounced. Uh, Udad. Yeah. I've heard it pronounced Weedad or Udad. I don't know. Uh, we, maybe? Because of the French, O-U-I? Weedad? I don't know. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so this product, <laughs> uh, the Udad Curl Quencher Hydrofusion Intense Curl Cream for tighter curls. Um, now, I use this in my hair. I did not like it for my hair, but I did use it for my daughter's hair, and her hair is 4A textured. It does work really nicely in her hair. Uh, for my hair, I did not like it because for me, um, I had some buildup and I used it on completely clean hair. Um, and maybe it might be my, my imagination, I'm not sure. But it has like a bit of a shimmer to it. I, I'm not sure if you can see. It's like pearlized. Um, I, I don't, sorry, I'm going to rinse it off. Um, I really don't care for the product for my hair, but in my daughter's hair, like I said, her hair is 4A, and it really defined her curls quite nicely, um, but it wasn't really quenching, like it says. Um, the I, I did put some oil underneath it um, to hold it, uh, hold the moisture in, um, and that did work very nice. And <coughs> it did it did work very nicely in um, maintaining the moisture balance in her hair, um, but using it by itself, it didn't work very well. Um, would I buy this? I don't think so. Not for myself. Uh, would I consider buying this for my daughter? Maybe. Um, but then again, I do use other products that I happen to find work better in her hair. Um, but definitely not for mine because there was, you know, when you put in, um, what can I say? I actually have it in my hair right now. Um, for myself, this is kind of, well, it is. It's it's pretty frizzy uh, for for me. And it didn't really do what I like my products to do, which is define my curls. And I, I didn't feel as though this did it for my hair. Um, now, I also was sent the Udad Moisture Lock Define and Shine Curl Styling Gel Cream for Wavy Loose Curls. Um, this, this actually worked in my hair pretty well um, for a wash and glow, but, but I used pretty much the half, more than half the container for one wash and go and that is crazy to me. I don't want to use that much product but I did feel like I needed that much. Um, and my hair, as you guys have been following me, you can tell that my hair definitely isn't you know long down my back where I would need a lot of product. My hair comes to right about where my earrings are. <laughs> you know so it's, it's really not that long. Um, but I used a lot of product with this. Um, it smells excellent. Both products, they smell um, really clean. Um, but yeah, they were not, um, you know, they were really not something that I think that I would be purchasing again. Would I recommend it to somebody? I would. Um, I don't feel as though they're bad products at all. I think that they're quality products. Um, the you know, the ingredients, they're not all natural ingredients. Uh, for instance, with the 
this uh, Define and Shine Curl Styling Gel Cream, which is, I will say, more of a gel than a cream. As you can see, it's it's uh, really liquidy. It's more like more of a gel than a cream. Um, I don't know exactly why they would call it a cream at all. Actually, maybe because it's it has a color to it. I don't. I don't know. Um, but like I was saying, with the ingredients, the first few ingredients are water. Uh, copolymer, uh, propylene glycol, dimethicone, hydrolyzed silk, uh, silibum, merium extract, glycine soha, uh, extract, hydrolyzed vegetable protein. You know, it, it's not very natural, and they they are basically using, you know, the technical scientific terms. Um, but obviously the dimethicone is not a natural, um, you know, ingredient at all. Um, am I opposed to not using all natural ingredients? You know, a long time ago when I first became natural, I will say that I used a lot of unnatural ingredients in my products. And then, you know, I was like, oh, well, it works for me. It works for me. I love my silicones. But I've realized as I've become more seasoned, let's say, in being natural and really understanding what, you know, ingredients do and how they react in my hair. I don't use um, products that have, you know, dimethicones, that have, you know, things like these, like, uh, what else is in here? Xanthan gum, the sodium EDTA, uh, you know, citric acid, which is, but, um, I don't even know how to pronounce a lot of these, to be completely honest. As you could tell, I'm stumbling through, but that's my cue as to say that they're not natural, because if they were natural, I'd be blowing right through this. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I, I mean, I wasn't too impressed on my end for my hair. Um, but I did, like I said, with the Udad uh, Curl Quencher, I did like this product right here for my daughter's 4A hair. Um, and I did like this Moisture Lock Define and Shine Gel for my hair. Um, but would I buy them? I don't think so. Not for me. Um, but I, I do definitely see that they can be very well used products, um, you know, for a wash and go. Uh, if you if you're a wash and grow type of girl or guy, you know you could definitely um, use them. I'd say because they're they're definitely good products. I wouldn't say that they're bad. So that is my quick product review. Um, again, this review is sponsored by NaturallyCurly.com. You could get these products from Udad from uh, Curl Mart. And I will uh, tag them so you can find it. And I hope you guys are all blessed. Take care. Have a good day.